Well, hey there everyone. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a little Sherlock look. So I was looking at my materials and what I wanted to do this week, and I came upon the same material that I made that like 1960s style dress cape thingy with, and I still had like a lot of that material left. And an idea popped in my head, and that is Sherlock Holmes, because look at the material and look at Sherlock Holmes. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so for the look, basically what I'm going to be making is I'm going to attempt to make a deerstalker hat, which is the traditional Sherlock Holmes hat that you see most Sherlock Holmes wear. So I was looking at the hat and it looks like it is possible to make, so I did go ahead and buy a pattern for it from this lovely person on Etsy. And then for the rest of the outfit, so I'm just going to make one thing for the outfit and that's going to be a cape-ish thing, cloak but like short so generally when you do see a Sherlock Holmes they have like a big trench coat with like the little cape attached to it I'm only gonna do that little cape part because I don't have enough material to do an entire coat with it so that's what I'm gonna be doing and then I'm just gonna make an outfit for those two items and be Sherlock Holmesy with it <laughs> So we're gonna start with the deerstalker hat. So again, I did buy the pattern and I will link that down in the description. So basically for that, I just cut out the little pieces. There's only like three pieces that you really need for this hat. So it's a bunch of like triangles that you're gonna all sew together and that's gonna make a circle or like a little dome. So you're gonna do two of those for both the lining and the outer fabric. And then for the little flaps, you're just gonna cut out two of the outer material, sew them right sides together with the little string in between. I didn't really have like the right string to put in between the little flaps here so it can tie up. So what I ended up doing was using just some lace that I found, so it's not very traditional, but it's cute. So I'm gonna see you after those to tell you how to do the rest of this hat. So for this triangle shape, I'm gonna end up cutting six of each, the outer fabric and the lining piece. Then I cut out four for the flaps and four for the rim. Now basically what I'm doing is I'm prepping the two halves. So for both the outer fabric and the lining, I'm just gonna sew two together and two together because we will end up sewing three and then three and that'll be our two halves and then we sew the halves together. So again, for the lining and the outer fabric, I'm just gonna sew two of the triangles together and then two of the triangles together and then do the same thing with the lining. Then once those are sewn, we can go ahead and add that third piece to each of the halves. Now the two halves of three can be sewn together.
So I went ahead and did a little test try on and as you can see I couldn't even put it on my head. So I did a small for this so I went ahead and I had to recut out all the pieces for the larger size uh, so it could actually fit on my head. Now for the little ear flaps you're just going to take the two pieces lay them right sides together while sandwiching in your ribbon or lace or whatever you're going to use to tie and then sew all the way around except for the bottom. Then you just go ahead and turn it right sides out and top stitch it. Now these just get sewn straight on to the sides of this hat. So after the little flaps are put on, it is time to do the rim in both the front and the back. So again, super easy. You're just going to cut out two of each piece, sew them right sides together, turn them right sides out, and then sew it straight on to the rim of the hat. Now the last step of this hat is to sew on the lining right sides together, pull over the little gap that you leave, and then you got the hat. <laughs> So this hat was much easier than I thought it was going to be. I did have a little bit of a hiccup um, as you did see how my first one was so small it could not even fit on my head. I did do the measurement of my dome and it was a correct measurement um, but it didn't fit so I just went ahead and I did the large and that fit perfectly. So minus that little hiccup um, this hat is done and then I can move on to the cape construction. Next is the rim pieces, so what you're going to do is take the two pieces, sew them right sides together, turn it right sides out, and then iron it. And then just like the flaps, they're just going to be sewn straight onto the top of this hat. Now to hide all of the exposed edges, the last step is to put the lining onto this hat. So we're just going to put it all right sides together, sew all the way around except for a little gap so that we can pull it right sides out. And then I just went ahead and hand stitched that little gap closed and this hat is done. Now for the cape, this is also a pretty simple thing that I'm going to do. So pretty much I'm just going to cut out a full circle. I think I measured about 21 or 22 inches. Um, and then I cut out about four to five inches for the neckline. And then I'm not going to do a lining for this because I really don't feel like doing that. So instead I'm just going to leave it as a, the one layer. Um, so to close off all of the edges, normally I would fold over the edges twice to make a hem, but this is really thick material, so I really didn't want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to fold it over once, but before I do that, I'm just going to serge, I'm just going to zigzag stitch the edges to clean up those seams of all the edges, and then I'm just going to fold it over once and sew it, and it's going to look like a hem. So I'm going to show you after that.
Since I'm not going to be double folding this hem and I'm just going to fold it once, I need to prep the edges of this cloak. So I'm just going to zigzag all the way down all of the exposed edges so that when I turn it, it will not fray. Then those edges get sewn down. To do the bottom curve hem, it's easy to iron it first and then just go ahead and sew after that. Now for the collar. So I did use a little like rounded collar for this cape. So basically just cut out two pieces. So right sides together, turn it right sides out. And then I came upon a little problem that made me stumped. Um, I didn't know how to put on this collar and I don't like collars in general. So generally when you do it, you have like multiple pieces to where you can hide like exposed edges. Um, and I did not have that and I didn't know what to do for that So I kind of scrolled on TikTok and ignored the problem for a while and then I finally came up with a solution <laughs> So basically what I did is I ironed in I folded in the edges of the bottom of this collar and I ironed it And then I just sandwiched in the top of this cloak adding a big pleat to Make it the size of the collar and then just sewing straight on top of it and your collars added and then the last thing that I wanted for this cloak was to close it. So I had this idea in Monog um, of how to close it. And I basically wanted two little like panels right here that would connect with buttons. I'm just gonna cut out four of these little pieces and I'm gonna sew two of them right sides together, turn it right sides out, top stitch it and close it, and then add buttonholes on each side. And then sew buttons here and here on the cloak. And then I'll just literally connect the, those little pieces onto the buttons. It'll make more sense when you see it. And then the cloak closes. So after that, this whole thing is done. So I will see you all in the final look. Now that my cloak is prepped, I'm just going to go ahead and do the collar so I can get that out of the way. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to take the two collar pieces, lay them right sides together, so all the way around except for the bottom, turn it right sides out and iron it. Now it's time to add the collar. So again, my uh, collar is smaller than the neck of this cloak, so I did have to pleat it in the back, but that's not too big of a deal. So once I've ironed down that exposed seam on the collar, I just went ahead and I sandwiched the cloak into it and I just sewed it straight down. Now the last step is for the closure, so I'm just going to cut out these little pieces right here and then I'm going to place them right sides together, so all the way around except for a little gap, turn it right sides out and then top stitch all the way around while closing that gap. Then I'm going to add a buttonholes to each of the two sides and then add buttons on to my cloak and this bad boy is done.
This was such a fun look to do. Um, I absolutely love this cape thing. I wish I lived somewhere where it was acceptable to wear this, like California or like New York. But unfortunately, I live in Arizona and it's hot as butts here and I can't just wear this to Walmart. <laughs> But yeah, I loved the idea of like these two things right here that turned out so well. The collar worked pretty well. Um, I didn't even have to do two layers on this bad boy, so I think it turned out really friggin' cute. And this hat I think turned out decently well. I think it looks better not on me, like <laughs> just off. I don't know if I rock the hat as well as I should, um, but I think overall it, it looks like a hat, which is a great first step. <laughs> I think if I had like the traditional like what's it called ribbon that you put up there then it might look a little bit better but all I had was the lace but I think the lace still looks pretty cute so I'm not mad about that at all um, it fits pretty good I'm glad I went with the large instead of trying the medium because I don't think the medium would have fit compared to how poorly the small fit my head uh, so I'm glad I just went all the way up to the largest size but otherwise and I have a really small head too I got a small cranium uh so that's crazy <laughs> yeah i could not do this look without a magnifying glass it was like six bucks on amazon i was like it completes the sherlock holmes look i couldn't not do this i almost got a pipe too but i didn't feel like it so i did not do a pipe for this look <laughs> but yeah let me know if you liked this i quite enjoyed it doing it i need to do all of my wintery looks before it gets too incredibly hot to do them even just to wear them for the final look it's getting there it's getting warm don't get me wrong we're only in february but it's gonna get warm so i gotta get all my wintery looks done now otherwise it's weird to do them in the middle of summer when it's like 120 degrees outside but yeah let me know what you liked let me know what you want to see more of your ideas are always accepted so anything to do if you like what i did go and like and subscribe i post most saturdays mostly at noon and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching